Oh. You say we are live? Uh, we're going live. You know how, uh, how Facebook yeah. is. Save all your good stuff for 20 minutes in, Cook, because that's when it actually goes live. I'm just winging it. I got my Windex bottle holding up my webcam again. <laughs> your beard's getting out of hand. Or is it just blending in with your shirt? Uh, that's pretty long. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking for pictures of you, and I was like, holy shit, his beard is really long. <laughs> you want to grow all winter so I can be like Duck Dynasty with no money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> She's pumped about having no money. Yeah, Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it was about. about making slime. Making slime right now? Oh, yeah. We have, we have Tupperware and Ziplocs of slime everywhere. All the rage. Are you selling it? Does she sell <laughs> slime? Some. Yeah, her and her friend thought they'd go into business selling slime. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's making slime. Where's my go? Birthday yeah. parties are slime parties. Everything's. She has all kinds of different slime. Cloud slime, fluffy slime, regular. You got glow in the dark slime? Yeah. <laughs> Dream stream slime. The whole fucking slime factory. <laughs> Podcasting. You're podcasting, bro. Is that the new rage? That's it. Okay, it, it, we ran out of slime to make, so we started podcasting. Yeah, That's dude, right. Things got old, so I talk to people. Lo, Lola's got <laughs> the slime uh, market cornered, so we had to do something else. <laughs> What's this? You been riding or what, Cook? Uh, man, I'll ride every once in a while with Anthony, or I'll go moto with my buddies, but I bought a Razor a couple months ago, so I've been taking it out with my friends and Lola and doing that. Been mountain biking a lot. I got a mountain bike that I could fucking sell for the same price as my dirt bike right now. Yeah, they're crazy expensive. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, though. So no, uh, no shows? No, uh, the last show I did was October 20th and 21st, and before that I hadn't rode my dirt bike since July, so I kind of decided I didn't want to do shows anymore after I suffered through that one. Yeah. Well, you got me and Clint beat. <laughs> Show-wise, yeah. Oh, well, riding, mm -hmm. well, I think I rode probably... No, you may, I don't, maybe I didn't ride after October. No, I did. I rode in November. Not a show or anything. I mean, I rode. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I rode since October. <clears throat> that, that was my last show. Dude, look what I noticed the other day. Like, I haven't even hardly looked at my bike. My air filter is like, falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, how nice it went freestyle. I never had to clean it. And I think the last couple times I rode around dirt, it just disintegrated. And that was, shit, that was in summer, I think I wrote it last. <laughs> I, uh, I got in, back into it, like, last summer. was having fun and riding a lot and wanted to do shows. And then, I don't know, I rode for, like, three months solid. And then I was like, ah, this isn't fun anymore. And then I had to go do that show because I booked it when I was having fun. And I was like, shit. <laughs> Well, the problem yeah. is not just like practicing. The problem is then going to sketchy environments and trying to do all your shit still. Yeah, it was ramp to ramp. Yeah, exactly. Concrete, pavement. <laughs> no, it was on dirt, but I mean, it was sand, so I'd rather it be concrete. 
Yeah. Shit. Who's um, uh, who's Lander? Uh, uh, this time it was Kenny's. He's not the uh, not the cow hauler he had, right? No, Kenny's like, yeah, you want to take that? And I was like, nope. <laughs> I remember that thing. That was awesome. Yeah. It's <laughs> still big and nice to hit. Yeah, it was hard for me to miss. I liked it. That's the thing. Which one? You, we must be talking about a different one. Are you talking about the one that he has Cream to load onto the trailer? No. Oh, no. We're talking about the one that was the horse hauler that he cut and made into a um, landing. Cream uh, yeah. I've seen that one. But yeah, it wasn't that one. It was, uh, <clears throat> it was one that just sets by itself, and then if you want to transport it, you've got to use a forklift to load it on top of a trailer. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like a death trap. Nice. Why would you have something like that? Was it just like scaffolding? No, it was just. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it, man. It had legs on it, like it looked like a weird walking metal creature. But then <laughs> those were the supports for it, and then you just load it on a trailer to transport it. Seems excessive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, where could you use that? That's not gonna work at the circus. Who like was that. like, I mean, who was like, I want to make these portable ramps less convenient by taking the trailer off of it. Yeah, it looked like somebody was building like a life-size Lego ramp and then kind of just got bored with it and ran out of pieces. Nice. Nice. So, but not, we got to use his, uh, Anthony rode the show with me, we got to use his good one. But, I mean, not riding for however long and then, and not really wanting to do it, didn't help. <laughs> What? Oh, not wanting to do the show at the time that it happened? Yeah, no, I didn't want to do it at all, but I already spent the deposit, so I didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you flip, or did you just ride upright? I just rode upright, man. I haven't flipped in a year and a half. Yeah. That'd probably be scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to go straight uh, metal to metal for sure. I mean, I've taken months off and I've done that, but that's what I still wanted to ride. It's crazy whenever your mindset changes, man. Like, you just don't give a shit, don't want to do it. Yeah. yeah. If you're not into it, that's when, that's when you get hurt. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, what do you so, do uh, now? What? What do you do for work? What do I do for work? Yeah. Uh, just kind of do like Magic Mike stuff. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do uh, like that advantage guttering. I started out like uh, being the project manager for this guttering company, but now I do uh, all standing seam metal roofs and uh, cap metal for commercial style buildings where they have the flat roofs and just basically... I sell uh, all the metal stuff for building packages. All right. Nice. I'll bring you up to Chicago. We'll sell some metal roofs. Yeah, dude. We, uh, we make everything. We'll ship it anywhere. We're like, it's all custom stuff. So, like, if you have somebody that wants to put a standing seam roof on their house, they'd give me the cut list. I would do the stretch out on everything, tell them how much it would cost, and then we'd make it all in our shop and send it wherever. Really? Yeah, I took my personal Instagram page. Well, I didn't take it down. I just deactivated it for a week because I was seeing if my mindset was in a better mood after I wasn't seeing all the good parts of everybody's lives. Yeah, I know yeah. how that works I for you. I see the advantage of every page you got. Yeah, I, for some reason that one stayed up. Yeah, the other one shut down. I guess I should have turned it back on for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was much harder reason I found pictures of you was because um, Blake had you tagged in them. I looked up Derek Cook FMX and I found some pictures from Blake. Oh, yeah. Well, and then I found that you still had your Facebook up, so then I got a face shot of you on there. Oh, really? My Facebook is up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
that you turned it off too. <laughs> well, I was at least able to find Derek Cook pictures. Oh, okay. You can never show up Facebook. You're there forever. Yeah, I, no, problem. actually, it is up. I tagged you <laughs> in the post. <laughs> You just revived it. It was about to die, and then Clint woke it back up. That's it. Yeah. How's the weather where you guys are? Um, it's warming up, but I'm like not very happy about it because uh, I want to play some more hockey. Dude, it was 70 degrees here yesterday, and today is 28 in the ice storm. <laughs> I think what you guys are getting is what he is headed my way. Yeah, it sucks. It was 65 today, and now it's like 38. It's been raining for two days. I got up this morning to go to the gym. It was 65. When I left the gym, it was 30. It sucks. How long were you at the gym? Dude, <laughs> an hour. Is it eight hours? Yeah, I lived there. <laughs> I can't see if I'm on a... Uh... Yeah, on camera it. yet. Hold on. Let me put my face closer. <laughs> Bring your face up. Go down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be in the do rag is whenever I was pipelining with Slade. <laughs> That's what I figured. But um, how long have you? Shut up! <laughs> Slade lives down the street from me. Oh yeah? Do you guys hang out? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I need to come down to Oklahoma and visit. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Damn man, fifteen people like that, Derek. I look like a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly Al Qaeda. <clears throat> That's what I'm gonna be for Halloween. You already got Halloween planned out? Yeah, I wanna be a legit one. You think they'll let me in the bars? <laughs> a legit terror. You need Not to be announcing on the internet. You need to start well, tanning. Yeah. I probably should recant, recant that statement. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you'll show up I'm all. American. Yeah, you'll show up American as fuck on the Harley and stuff with a big beard, and they'll be like, all right, well, you're in. Yeah, it's Halloween. Let this look kind of in. <laughs> um, Nick go? Did he disappear? Ah, uh, there he is. Oh, there he uh, is. Ah, uh, can't click that tab away, I go. Um, have <laughs> you been watching Supercross, Derek? Yeah, I actually went to Arlington uh, and watched it in person. Yeah, how was that? This is good, man. Barsha got hurt yeah. first lap of the um, qualifiers. I was kind of bummed to see that because now that he got his factory ride, he looked like he was killing it. Yeah. Yeah. The, this whole season, like, it went from so good with so many people with a chance to, like, what the hell? Almost every single yeah, one of them quick. got hurt. It's Boy. supposed to be safer and more people are getting hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's been like, what, six, seven, like, fairly high-level guys. Uh, Tomac, Muskin, uh, Barsha, Roxon. Um, anybody else? Uh, uh, oh, Josh Grant just broke his leg at Dallas. Well, didn't oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, yep, they're getting a fill-in. I don't know. I think he got hurt in practice, they said. Yeah, because I didn't see it in the race. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, Davalos, he had a bad wreck in the start of the 250 main, but I haven't heard if he's hurt or not. But from what I saw, I don't see how he's not hurt. I think he... I think he is hurt, or, um, yeah. I heard somebody saying he was out of the championship, I mean, which doesn't mean that he is, but, he, they're I'm gonna, there and he got his head smashed, who, 
Davalos? Oh. He got his neck run over. Oh, yeah? I didn't see it. I didn't get to watch this race. We had a snowstorm, so I plowed um, all Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, no, man. Like, Davalos got high-sided, thrown across the group of riders, and just got nailed right in the face, blew his goggles off, his visor. Look Dang. it up. Look it I up. need to watch it again. Yeah, I need to go watch it. I um, recorded it at my parents' house on their DVR, so... Um, we shall see. But, um... You can YouTube it. They have the whole races on YouTube in high date or high definition. Do they? I mean, because I know they used to, and then they would take them down real quick. And, the like, last year, it seemed Not like they were... more. they don't. They don't anymore. Really? Because no. I'd watch them the day after, because, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think they still do. Now they gotta shut it down. Yeah. Shut it down. You know, it's frustrating. I got the uh, Sling TV, so I get Fox Sports 1. And for five bucks, you can add um, DVR so you can pause and rewatch stuff. <clears throat> but you can't pause it live. And then when you rewatch it, I can't cast it to my TV. I can only watch it on my phone. I'm not going to watch a whole race on my phone. Watch it. Well, I just. Screenshot my phone to the TV. So I could, there's a way you can do it, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. I have Apple TV and then like this an Apple phone, and I got all my cable and stuff turned off because I don't pay for it. So I just go to Fox Sports One app, use my mom's login to the <laughs> TV, and then mirror it to my TV to watch it. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do with the um. Like I can watch it live. I just can't, you know, rewatch it. I gotta do it through my phone. Like a oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty much same thing though. What are you Let's watching see. it through, uh, Nick? The Sling TV app. So oh, okay. You could probably do it on Apple TV, too. It's like just like he did it, but he logs in through, his, through a Fox Sports account. Got you. And you log in through a Sling account. Yeah. Same thing. It's Fuck all going it. online. I don't have any... I have an antenna, and I have the internet. That's it. It's science. Yeah, it's simple science, dude. I need to watch the races with science. I wish I could watch it live and go over it, but it'd probably get shut down on YouTube, right? Uh, most likely. Yeah, I thought we were going to go over it live. I had to plow all night. I know, that was good, because Don was in town, like, surprised for the weekend, so... Surprise, was, surprise. There was four other people in the shop watching the race with me, and everybody's yelling and with their backs to the TV, blabbing, and I'm trying to watch the race. Yeah. I think we've learned that you can't have it. Three is maximum people for a podcast, otherwise. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we've just been screaming. It's just mayhem. But I couldn't even hardly watch it. <clears throat> well. So we want everybody's bitching about um, Jeff and Ralph's uh, announcing. So Nick and I are just going <laughs> to watch the Supercrosses and uh, talk over them live as we drink beer and give you some real fucking announcing. Hell yeah. <laughs> like your friends would do in the living room, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not worried about Monster getting mad at us. We actually did a... We did um, Las Vegas Supercross last year on YouTube, and that thing got like 200 and something views, which on YouTube is a lot, because we don't get shit on YouTube. I think it's funny when Jeff and Ricky get mad at each other. Yeah. They start talking shit. You can just tell that they don't really like each other, but they got to be nice. Do you think... You see the one where... Uh, Emic said something to Ricky like about he beat him and Carmichael's like something like you, you never beat me and you never would and he was like <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that they're friends, no? I feel yeah, like I, think I don't know, man. It's so competitive. I think he's if he, even if he's friends, he still like wants to beat you. I'm sure, but I think they're just talking shit to each other like we talk shit to each other. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. We always see Carmichael, he would always talk shit to uh, Kerry Hart about flying because he would always fly coach. Yeah. 
And he would take pictures of his seat at like the back of the plane. <laughs> <clears throat> Who Carmichael flew coach? Yeah. Yeah. And he'd be like, How is it up there, Hart? Yeah. And now Hart must not be part of that team or nothing, because he posted a picture like drinking beer in his the house. Team's gone. Huh? Yeah, RC team's gone. RCH is, is over. He's got nothing to do with anything then, because he no. posted a picture in his house talking about Bone not having a team. Yeah. But he's not missing. He's building you know, uh, Indian motorcycles. He's what? Building Indian motors. He's got like some deal with Indian. And he made a tracker and all that stuff. And then uh, they said that the tracker, like flat track race at X Games was Harley's only. So, uh, so, he couldn't, uh, so he couldn't go and race or anything. But he even built Pink like this super sick. Look up his uh, page and find I'm that. right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you go back, he made, his, uh, he made Pink a... Um, like a bomber, right? Yeah, exactly. Like a, it looked like an old, like, World War II, like, fighter plane or whatever with the girl on the side and everything, all damage on it. You seen all that shit cook? Oh, that's right. Nah, you don't have social... Good, yeah, How long ago did you get rid of your social media? Uh, I just got rid of Instagram like a week ago. Oh. Uh. <laughs> See what you missed already? And where's your like where, whole life's changed. Where's your beer? <laughs> where's your beer? Did you already uh you quit that too? My beard? Beer. Oh, I don't drink beer. <laughs> what do you drink? Cranberry and sodas? Or uh, cranberry and vodkas? No, like sometimes I like Zimas with Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> <laughs> I think we brought that. I think we brought that up before on here. There you go. I, think, uh, I like. I like whiskey. We were like what North Dakota for. He does not like whiskey. Uh oh. <laughs> you know what we brought up. Cook had like his side of the hotel fridge with like peanut butter and all this food, and then I had like a twelve pack of Bush Light. <laughs> and he's like, seriously, dude, you're taking up half the fridge. Is this the bike you're talking about, Clint? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is yeah, super it sick. sick. I got three Harleys in my garage. Let's see them. Okay. I don't know, you don't want to see my garage. Why you is it care. filled with shit? We can feel, yeah, we can like feel better about chaos. ourselves in our garages if you go and do that. I'm in my garage. Here's what Lola does every day. What up, Lola? Uh, let me make you big. She uh, FaceTimes her friends and they make slime together <laughs> over FaceTime. <laughs> She's stealing our idea. <laughs> Dude, they're e sliming. E slime tutorials. See, we're e drinking. <laughs> well, you're not drinking anything. There's the old dirt bike. Nice. You got a Jeez. number on it? 18? There's the mountain bike. Nice. What did we have you walk More out Harleys. here for? Oh, yeah, the Harleys. Huh? I was like, what did we have you walk out here for? But then I remember it was for those. <laughs> what were you worried about a seat in your garage? It's awesome. It's got Harleys, yes. road bikes, side-by-sides. Welders, plasma cutters. Just yeah. not enough room to do anything. Got all the good stuff, though. Is there a jet ski in there, or is that a bike? Where? It must be a <laughs> dirt like bike. <laughs> oh yeah, I see it now. The Harley. I, it looked like a jet <laughs> ski for some reason to me. I think it would have been better if he walked out with the jet ski, like he forgot he had. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> How long has it been since you've shaved your beard? Man, I kept it trimmed up, like short. Uh, Probably started growing it out two years ago, and then I stopped trimming it probably six months ago. And like my shirt wasn't dark, you could see, but I mean it's down to here. Yeah. It just blends right in. Yeah. Like hey. a hockey mask. So here's my here's my biggest issue uh, with beards, other than my face getting uh, itchy. 
Like when my uh, normally my upper lip sweats. Like if I eat anything spicy or whatever, my upper lip will sweat. And then I can't wipe it off because I got this stupid mustache and it drives me nuts. I got to keep it trimmed up around my lip. I don't like it. Yeah, but what about the sweat on your lip? What do you do? I lick it. How, what, you, <laughs> How much does your lip sweat? I usually go like this. I usually go and try to get it out. It's like a little kid sucking his boogers up. <laughs> That's why I hate beers. When I went to Dallas Supercross, I was walking to the 7-Eleven to get some coffee. And talking about snot reminded me of what I encountered while I was there. I was walking out of the gas station, and there's this black dude standing there, and he had snot dripping down from both nostrils that were as green as blow of slime running straight into his lips. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just all, hey, man, you got a cigarette? I was like, no, sorry, man, I don't smoke. And he's like, well, fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, you should probably go wipe the snot off your mouth before you start talking shit to people. <laughs> and he just looked at me like I was the idiot. That was probably, uh, you know, like drug snot. Probably. Run back out. He's like, maybe I got a rock left in there. I need to go yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's just letting it filter back down into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Fuck. So, That's not it, man. That's probably my excitement. Yeah. When did you start riding? Like a little kid? Uh, yeah, like my dad raced three-wheelers when I was a kid, and I had a Suzuki 53 wheeler when I was two. Got my first dirt bike. It makes sense grade. now. Huh? It all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh... What started racing when I was 11, and then when I was like 15, quit because couldn't afford anything. And then I sold this Tahoe that I fixed up, bought a brand new dirt bike, and bought a shitty truck that would barely get me around so I could have a dirt bike and ride. Yeah, I, um, at some point in high school, everybody had like nice cars with, you know, systems in them and wheels and blah 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 and I was like why don't I have any of that I just have like a stock 85 uh, Monte Carlo and <laughs> then I realized I raced dirt bikes yeah yeah pretty much as soon as I got into dirt bikes that's when I just stayed broke <laughs> <laughs> but I was happy that's right exactly yeah I finally have a little money but I have a bike that's like Six years old. I've never had a bike that old. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can get a new air filter. <laughs> no, I've got money. Done. <laughs> Keep it thin. I still got my 12. I had the two. I sold one because I never rode it. And I rode one of the new 17 Hondas and loved it. But I bought a Razor. So, <laughs> so you went all out. You went, the, you went deeper in. Yeah. You're like, I already have I a dirt bike. Yeah, but I justified it. I was like, well, I can go do more stuff with my daughter and she'll have fun. So, yeah, I'm going to buy that. <laughs> there you go. You Are you bully. racing? They got, like, courses or what? You like riding the Razor? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, there you no, go. I thought, I don't, man, it's too expensive to race those things. If you look at a racetrack with one, something breaks. You're yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to use that slime money. Yeah. We're going to have to use your slime money. <laughs> We're going to have to use your slime money to go racing in the razor. <laughs> Listen, she just needs to advertise her slime business on the side of the razor. Yeah. And there you go. Right off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And then while you're promoting, it's a write-off. You're ready to go. Slime yeah. <laughs> Uh You said you have a 12? Yeah. Still so, have a 12. so that's still carbureted? No. Honda's went. Oh, still 9. Oh, 9. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I have a 13, but that was the first year of that Air Forks. Oh, uh, yeah. 
So I like the 17s and 18s, man. They went back to spring ports, and uh, they handle super good. Mine's got a lot of motor work done to it. It's been mapped, and that 17 I rode was stock, and it pulls just as hard as my 12 all fixed up. Yeah. Well, the, the, like the 12, the 13, those couple, they weren't that fast. I think the 13 is supposed to be worse. Oh, I just lugged the shit uh, out the of it. The 13 was super slow. Yeah. I just lugged the shit out of it and she fucking rolls. I just short shift her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, <clears throat> the only thing I like about the air forks is it made me realize how good you can dial your forks in if you actually, like, swap out fork fork rates and stuff like that because oh yeah being able to adjust it with just air i've adjust you know like basically i've never bought six sets of fork you know springs and then tried them all in there and seen which one got it to stick really good in the corners but with the air i did it and then i started hammering into ruts like so fast and it would just hook and just stay like stuck in them and i never had a bike that would handle that good but it is frustrating, like, so in Texas, I guess it was warm enough that the bike would warm up, and then the forks would stay pretty good, but up here, it's cool enough for the fight, the forks cool down in between motos, so you're always trying to adjust for how hot it's, and I also think that the tracks are rougher, so my forks end up, the fluctuation between, in between motos and at the end of a moto is like two and a half pounds in the forks which is a lot by the time you're two and a half you know if you started at what you wanted them at and you ended two and a half pounds high you couldn't even hold, hold on to the handlebars you know dude all you gotta do is let your summertime air out and put in wintertime air <laughs> <laughs> dude bad. i remember pushing your bike out of the stadium Derek. i don't know we were loading up bikes or something and, like, I just pushed it off the curb, and it just felt like a, a giant mountain bike. Nothing moved. It was, like, yeah. <laughs> completely solid. Yeah. I love my suspension. I got... These are stock. I, you know, I've never had suspension for freestyle. Yeah, but you... Dude, it's so good. You weigh... Like you weigh what Derek weighed in fifth grade. <laughs> There's a chubby little fifth grade. <laughs> what do you, you know, weigh, Derek? I got a set of Enzo freestyle suspension and then I have a set that's set up for moto so I just swap them out now since I don't have two bikes yeah one time I ran suspension was for for moto and it, it was a huge huge difference and you were and like I was, huh you were like fuck this what am I cheating I'm gonna go back <laughs> to that other shit but you just go into stuff especially when you <laughs> stuff and you don't even sweat it dude but that's how yeah. my new 450 suspension feels and it's stuck except for that 450 you missed the landing on <laughs> that one had some yeah, moto suspension like, oh god nick no <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, that was first gear man that sucked he wasn't ready <laughs> i needed some milk <laughs> uh that was fun yeah i don't know maybe that being a 450 helped I could have done without the Yoshimura pipe and all that shit that was on it. That seemed yeah. interesting. These things are so fast, dude. Yeah, so fast. That's what I like watching when you go to the races and you watch beginners, because when you're on two strokes, like you had to know how to somewhat ride to get through the corners to jump stuff. But now yeah. the 450s are so fast, you go watch the beginners, they're just like feet off through the corners. As soon as they get straight, they just give it hell, man. They'll make the jump. Yeah. Probably yeah. Not land it. But it's fun watching. That's what I was thinking watching Barsha this weekend. I was like, no, just, just fucking do it. Yeah, I think he would have been fine. He, he, well, in hindsight, he would have been better off casing that triple to get landed on. But yeah. then I watched it again. He really jumped way into, like, it got so off time. I don't know. But think about how many pros have looped out on 450s. A like, lot. It's been a handful. Yeah, a lot. Like Roxton when he broke his hand. Yeah. Yeah. James Stewart. Uh, Ryan Villapoto. Yeah. Dude, they're violent. <laughs> They'll, oh, Chad Reed. Remember he shot his uh, at somebody not too long ago. 
Yeah. <laughs> or maybe that was last Jay year. Jay almost does, he almost does that like every other race. He gets kind of wild. Yeah. Dude, they so... Gotta, like, just catapult off and hit the brake sideways and try to get it down before they hit the ground. I, yeah. raced, I uh, raced a two-stroke like a couple years ago. And um, in practice, I was riding in the vet practice. And there's like these dudes that are like 230 pounds on these 450s and I come into the corner and going through the corner like four miles an hour faster than him and we get straight and I watched a dude just drop his elbow down <laughs> and lean forward and just walk me and I'm like grabbing gears like wah, wah, wah. And he just like fucking just put his elbow down that was it he was gone <laughs> Dude, I bet in his family he's like, I'm dropping the hammer, Harry. <laughs> you know he said that. <laughs> when I first got a 450, it's when they first, the Yamaha was a four-speed still. And I think I was like 16, 17, maybe. So I think I weighed probably like 120 pounds tops. And my dad's like, let me try that thing out. And he didn't have a helmet on or nothing. He probably hadn't ridden anything over a 250, maybe that. Dude, he got through this like sand roller section and he got yanked back. <laughs> and it just kept, and his eyeballs were like, <laughs> loops it out in the sand. Like, luckily he's okay. And then he, the whole time he's like, oh, dude. He's like, I don't, I don't know if, you should, if I should have bought you this. I don't know if we should have got this. <laughs> it's, so, it's so fast. Yeah. And then took me to an arena cross like a month later, <laughs> which is real sketchy. You were like, don't worry, Dad. I can overjump on anything. Yeah, but it was just like Cook said. I'm like, I'm going to hit that finish line by the end of this fourth lap of practice, <laughs> and I did. Dude, well, I was at a show in Monroe, Louisiana, jumping for an arena cross, and this dude had a bitchin' Honda with Olin suspension. I mean, fully tricked out. I mean, the gear, everything. And uh, I started listening to him talk, and he was in the beginner class, and he was just like, he's like, yeah, if I get the whole shot, I'm going for that triple. <laughs> And uh, his buddies were like, hey, I, don't, I don't really know if you should do that. He's like, nope, nope, I get the whole shot, I'm going for it. Did you jump it in practice? No, no, but I didn't get the whole shot in practice. He did not say, but I didn't get the whole shot in practice. <laughs> <laughs> so I went up there. <laughs> so I went up there, I was like, I gotta watch this. Sure enough, dude, he gets the whole shot, right? He gets the whole shot, goes around the corner all squirrely, and then just drops the hammer. <laughs> Straight up in the air, just feet off, Superman, <laughs> looped out, lands, never lets go of the gas, whiskey throttles, riding it like a bucking Bronco, over the berm, and face taps the brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> face taps, I like how you put that. <laughs> and then he, they brought his helmet back, it had blood in it, meat hanging off of it. And his other buddy, you know, he's like, oh man, I told him not to do that. <laughs> Yeah, he already had his mind made up, man. Whole <laughs> yeah. shot, triple. That's all in his mind. So that's what motivated him to get the whole shot. Was wanting to hit that all triple. All right, but here's here's the real question: Did he grease the triple? Just looped out, or was he overshot, undershot? Oh no, he made it. He landed in the berm <laughs> and shot over the berm. Wait, so he just <laughs> he overshot the thing into the berm and then just shot off it, or he just landed on the triple on the landing and whiskey throttle no, off he, the berm. He landed it between the berm and the triple. Oh, okay. <laughs> like straight up and down in a willy, but had death grip on the bars and then just drug him through the berm, and then once he. Went off the berm, then he actually ejected off the bike and just went head first into the wall. <laughs> That's I think the wall was like. a sign to, I probably should let go now. Did you, fo <laughs> any follow up? <clears throat> huh? Any follow up on that? Do you know anything, what happened? Well, no, I just know that he left in an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> he took an expensive yeah, bus nice. ride. Like now, with Instagram, as soon as arena cross season starts, MX Fails is just like post after post of people widening it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, riding a track and this uh, older guy, I guess he's not been riding like too, too long. He's pretty good, but he's like 
I don't know how we got into it. He goes, what do you weigh? And I'm like, 175. And he's like, why do you have a 450? And I'm like, what do you mean? Because I like having all that power, like, right at the wrist. And he's like, well, something about getting out of control. And I'm like, listen, I rode inside with concrete walls, like, for years. I'm not freaking out on a 450 outside on a moto track that I'm going to run into something. Shooters been like, that's why I like to live my life out of control. <laughs> I wish they made a 550. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? This guy, I, he would have it. These <laughs> uh. students started fucking with him, like, yeah, you know, it's kind of slow. I was thinking I was putting knots on it. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I want a Nost 450. <laughs> Dude, I still remember like talking about like what that guy said. Me, Doug Cossey, and Jad Knox did a show somewhere in Florida. And, I mean, it was you know like hillbilly Florida. And this old guy comes up and he's in a cutoff T-shirt, Bigfoot's number one fan hat, you know, legit. <laughs> and uh, he was like. Hey, hey, what's the biggest jump you boys ever jumped? Me and Doug answered him, and Jad was like, Well, back when I jumped the Snake River Canyon, <laughs> and that dude got in his face, he hit the table, Boy, you ever lie to me like that again, I'll stab you in your fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Jad got scared. <laughs> uh. Call him out. <laughs> dude, people, people <laughs> come up. events. That's the best. You just uh, run into like the most wild, <laughs> crazy. There's almost always somebody yeah. shows up and he's like, there was one guy, he goes, who runs the hardest? And I'm like, what? <laughs> and he goes, who runs the hardest? And I'm like, well, we'd like jump ramps. We don't really like, I know. Who runs the hardest? And I'm like, oh, I get it. I just pick somebody. I'm like, he does. I don't even remember who was there. I was like, talk to him. He runs the hardest. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Dude, I love, yeah, like, I always think about that. Like, people I've met or this and that. And I was in Durant, Oklahoma, and there's this, and it is hot, dude. It's humid as hell, summertime. And this boy, this dude comes up. I'm standing there sweating my ass off. This guy's in overalls and he probably weighs 400 pounds he's a big boy and uh you know and he i was like man it's pretty hot huh i was like i'm sweating like crazy and he just looks like he came straight straight out of the oil shop just oil <laughs> mud dirt whatever all over him he's all he's like hell i'll find a clean place on my shirt if you want to wipe your face off <laughs> <laughs> he's like no i'm good man <laughs> Yeah. Uh, dude, dude. nice guy. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, oh fuck, man. Yeah, the people that we've met, I'm sure you know. People don't even understand. <laughs> With like, there was an announcer, dude, at this bike rally I did, and uh, he comes up. He's like, "How fast are you going when you hit that ramp?" And he's the announcer. His name was Cowboy. And I was just like, uh, it's kind of just guess, man. I mean, where's your speedometer? Like, I don't have a speedometer. So you don't have a speedometer on that bike? No, nope, no speedometer. So you're telling me you don't have a speedometer on that motorcycle? He's like, no, I do not. Well, I, I just don't understand how you know how fast to go. And I was like, it's off feel, man. I've been doing it a while. I just kind of feel <laughs> and he was like, so, there's no speedometer. And I was like, what the fuck am I going to do, man? Stare at the speedometer when I'm going up the ramp? Which one am I going to look at? Yeah. And he was exactly. Like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Guess got to see where you're going. <laughs> Dude, if timing is really a, a crazy thing, you know? It's like an intangible you can't, you just yeah. have to trust that you know how fast to go. And you hope yeah. you don't let yourself down. Yeah, for sure. 
That's all. That's all. That's all it is. Like, I hope I'm right. Let's go. Yeah. I feel like I'm right. And you fucked up, and you're just like, "Damn it, Derek! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen." The most yeah. of the times that I messed up, like halfway through the ramp, I go, "I think I'm going too slow," and then I just give her, <laughs> <laughs> I give her a little extra, and then I'm in the air. I'm like, "Yeah, I was probably just about perfect." <laughs> now I'm out into the like I go the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> I go I run the hardest, boy. I run the hardest. <laughs> well Wacker was talking about riding the uh the Alta and it's got a speedometer on it, right? What I have no idea. About? I saw him jumping in and I was like, Man, that'd be crazy. Like yeah. not hearing the sound and no gears. Yeah. That that's what I think, you know, like think about four fifties. You um gear second gear so that it's like you're just about wrapped out when you hit a ramp at like 75 feet so that's easier to time because otherwise you know you could go in a stock 450 gearing you could go friggin 110 easy you know <laughs> no, just a little bit off you'd be out to at least 90 100 uh so like it's crazy that that has no gears at all so they're, yeah. you know what I mean? That's what I was wondering. I was thinking about that. Like, does he ride BMX too? Or Yeah. <clears throat> he's, yeah. He's good on a BMX. BMX. He's really going to have a feel for it. Because you basically pedal and then you kind of just coast into it, you know? You know, I think that we're probably just overthinking it. Yeah. You know how that stuff yeah. is. When you switch I'm from... I definitely go along the first time on that electric bike because I'm way overthinking it. Well, I mean, I used to ride with music. Like, I'd put headphones in my ears and ride because, like, I didn't really need to listen to the bike anymore. But yeah. I'd still, like, go off feel and the torque and, like, just how everything felt. And I don't really think you'd feel that with an electric bike. No, I, don't, I mean, I guess it'd just be, I don't know. It's like riding track. You don't have to think about how fast, you know, you just know I'm going to come out of this corner, I'm going to hit this, that. I think just a ramp, I like turning with like the minimum run that I needed. So I knew I just turned and pretty much went in. I didn't want to have like a 100 foot run at a ramp, you know? Oh, we know Nick. Yeah, cause that's more time to talk yourself out of not doing it. Yeah, just to <laughs> mess up. <clears throat> um, what else, Derek? Do you have a van? Uh, I got asked to join a beard gang. I said no. What? <laughs> what is a beard gang? That's what I asked. I was like, do you guys have like vests that say vice president and this and that, like a motorcycles, but you just show up and line up like shortest to longest beard? Like, how does it work? No, they have Velcro <laughs> patches that they stick in their beards <laughs> that say what they are. President. Yeah, I was like, well, if I'm going to be in your gang, I want to be president. I'm not starting out as a prospect. How'd that work? <laughs> huh? How'd that work? Are you president of the beard gang yet? Yeah, they said no. Uh, <laughs> you a discount on beard oil? I mean, I could have. I guess they meet in Vegas every year and you get money. When I heard that part, it kind of changed my mind, but it's too late. They meet in Vegas and get money? For having beers? Yeah, like they meet in Vegas, but I guess you can make money off having a nice beard. I mean, I still haven't figured that part out, but that's what I've been told. Hmm. I think Tosh.0 had some dude on, like, making beard videos, like, robbing them all sensually. Yeah. <laughs> it was weird. Maybe people are looking, you know, like, there's a lot of people like Nick that can't grow a beard. So maybe they're doing, like... I just don't uh, want to, that's all. Maybe they're doing, like, uh... Face wigs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots of, lots of love for people that can't grow beards. Exactly. No, I don't want your stupid beards. If I can't have, can't grow my own, and I don't want it. You say. Although that. I would have been cool with the dark black beard, <laughs> blonde hair. You'd finally look like a man. You'd be able to buy maybe, beer. Maybe it's for Clint, so he can eat spicy stuff and wipe his stuff or lip. 
put the put the beard back on. No, I want to wait. I mean, it does suck when I eat sushi and I get soy sauce in my beard and I smell it all day. I'm just like, damn it, this sucks. And I try to go wash it. It's gross. I want. Don't worry about the hair in my food. I just want uh, a um. Man. I want like a, a handkerchief woven out of your beard hair so I can wipe my face with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real hat. I wonder how it probably wouldn't be very absorbent. <laughs> it's um, it's pretty waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> That's super gross. <laughs> Dude, when I go ride the razor. Like, it's always super dusty out there, and my, my beard looks like a filter. Like, it's just full of dirt, dude. It's all caked on there. <laughs> I was in New York State, and it was, like, negative 15 at night. And there was a dude there that, like, his mustache, his lip hair had to have been two inches long. And he was had a big dip in, and he was just spitting. And his beard was just, like, <laughs> there was just spit just frozen in his beard. <laughs> That's disgusting. Just, <laughs> just a bunch of backy spit for icicles <laughs> in his beard. What do you use to mo moisturize your beard? Marbacto. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he saves his um, chew spit and then he, you know, rubs it into his beard. Yeah, he rings it out. Yeah, that shit's expensive, man. He has to recycle. <laughs> it's double dipping. Have you ever um, pulled a plug out of your mouth and saved it, Derek, and then put it back in? Uh, yeah, I probably did that like once. I've done it. Last one, <laughs> last one in the tin, and you're just like, yeah, like, I just put this like, in, and now we're gonna eat. I can't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Like I'm not wasting this one. <laughs> That's what the, is that the proper term? Pull the plug? <laughs> well, that's pretty much true. Like, you're like, yeah, it sounds like a good time for dip. As soon as you put it in, you're like, hey, let's go eat. I'm just like, shit. shit. Well, I'm hungry. Yeah. I don't want to waste this, so I'll just put it back in there. Yeah. Uh, and then you got to, it's, then it's like a pouch, you know? You just go in there and it's already pressed up into, yeah. <laughs> into a little yeah. lip pocket and then you just stick it back in there. It's cold though. I don't have to form it or anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Goes right in, fits so right back in. That reminds me of this meme I saw and it has this guy with the mullet hat turned backwards on a 250R three-wheeler shredding a berm and on it it says, Packing dips, twisting grips, shifting gears, passing queers. <laughs> <laughs> did that re did that bring you back to your childhood? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <the hell>, yeah. <laughs> he was like, if we don't, why don't you start the Oklahoma Trey gang? Sounds like a lot of effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finding people yeah, in Oklahoma with trikes. <laughs> Get on social media and I'll see everybody bitching about guns and pretty much everything I'm for and they're against. And I get pissed off and feel the need to say something. And then it just turns into a big argument. And I'm mad all day and I yell at my kids and I'm just like, all right. Why don't you just... <laughs> pretty much nailed it right there. I was like, why are you so mad? Because this motherfucker on Instagram... That he doesn't like AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> it will put you in a bad mood, though. Like, you get a, a, an argument with somebody you've never met. Yeah. Whatever. And then you're just like, I'll read it, and I'll be like, I'm going to answer that in a second. Yeah. Stew on it. Exactly. Like, I'll say something, not trying to be a dick, just saying my opinion. Then you have somebody that directly insults you for your opinion. And it's like, oh, really? So then you go to their page and you're like, yeah, I'm going to see what you're about, motherfucker. And then think about what you're going to say. And then I'm just like, I can't get into this right now. I have to work and be nice to people. Yeah. And in the meantime, you're just thinking about that. So you're like, fuck you. You're like, fuck you. Hang on a second. I'm thinking yeah. about something. And then I, I get so mad that I can't type as fast as my mouth's going. And then I'm just like, screw it. And then I just rate everything. <laughs> Sometimes that helps, though, just writing a bunch of stuff out and then just deleting it. 
is works That's just true. as well as posting it. Actually, better because then you don't have to listen to anything and you got it off your chest. Yeah, I tried that the other day because somebody told me that. I was like, bullshit, I want them to know. And then I actually wrote it and then just saved it. I was like, that did make me feel better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like articulating it or something. Yeah. <laughs> I got to pee, Nick. Are you going to be able to talk? Are you daddy daycaring it over I mean, What's going on? Who? Huh? Nick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked like you were talking to a little child I got Randy camera. here. Oh. <laughs> Randy! Hey, did you see that meme yeah. I sent you with the dog shitting on the track that looks like Randy? <laughs> it was Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's Randy doing on the track? There's just a dog. <laughs> There's a race going on. People are like hammering into this corner. The dog's just hunched over in the middle of the corner shitting. <laughs> <laughs> you would do that too. Dude, I had my dog at a show, and uh, we went out to set the ramp during intermission, and she just shit in the middle of the floor. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck the one, the one loader guy was so mad about it. I was like, Stella says this course sucks. <laughs> yeah, look, even my dog knows. <laughs> You may have been there. Uh, you. Me or Cook. Cook. It was one of those Monster Truck shows. It was out. No, I think it was Washington State, actually, now that I think about it. So I don't think you were there. Hey, speaking of that, how about that time you and uh, Merrick's and somebody else drove all the way up to Canada, Cook, and then got denied? Yeah, I got banned from that country for a year. <laughs> Dude, all you yeah, gotta do that. is I got all, all you gotta do uh, is swear at the border and they'll ban you for a fucking year. Who all was That's trying why to get I got banned? Because I told them to go fuck themselves. They interrogated <laughs> me for ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's because your terrorist I beard. I was, like, I was like, what do I have to do just to get out of here? And they're just like, oh, well, first he got mad because I started cussing. They're like, this isn't America. You don't have freedom of speech. Wow. I was like, okay, well, I want to fucking leave. I don't care about coming in anymore. I just want to leave. What do I got to do? Well, you got to sign this thing saying you won't come back for a year. I'm like, all right, fine. So I sign it. They give me my passport. And I'm like, we're in our truck. <clears throat> and I'm just like, all right, so we're good? And they're like, yeah, let's go back that way. So I got off my stuff, and I was like, so we're good. He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, fuck you. And then I pinned it to the American <laughs> side. <laughs> Man, I was mad. <laughs> Who, it was you, it was Mark Merricks, right? Me and uh, Chase Burbridge. Yeah, I just remember Mark telling me about that. Because <clears throat> I think I was supposed to go. And I'm like, no, I don't think, like, you know, I don't know, it wasn't going to work out for whatever reason. <clears throat> and then I heard you guys, because where did you guys try to get in Canada? You were uh, North really? Dakota. Wow, that's a fucking haul. It is a haul for me pulling a ramp. So, I mean, I guess anything came in as a haul for you. Yeah, it wasn't fun. Did you guys get tickets or no? What do you mean tickets? I don't know, like tickets for <clears throat> trying to sneak in. <laughs> no, no, like, I mean, supposedly they had all the paperwork there, but the border people were just being dicks. Merrick said they read his text messages or something. Yeah, they wanted to read mine. I deleted everything before they <laughs> took my phone. Because he said they saw, like, oh, you guys are saying, oh, it's just we're going to ride. And then they're like, yeah. yes, you're, you're going to do a show. Yeah, no, I deleted all my stuff. <laughs> Merrick's is too, like, honest and trusting. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Dude, it did. <laughs> it was a long ride home. It was 10 hours they held you guys? Man, it was at least six, probably six hours. Well, you remember my buddy Forberger, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, he got held up at the border doing work. And he's like, they put him in what they call like a holding cell. He said it was like a storage closet. He yeah. He had like a drop ceiling. He like could see out. <laughs> they put me in a holding cell too. <laughs> Canada. Right? Yeah. Chase had a speeding ticket that he paid, but he paid it late. And they're just like, well, you paid this ticket late. And I was like, well, it still got paid. That doesn't matter. You can't come in. Yeah, that's why I didn't go, because all the mouse truck guys we talk about, all the mouse truck, well, a lot of them have DUIs, so they can't get in. Oh, and, yeah, we got a DUI, no way in hell. Yeah, and I don't have a DUI, but, like, I lost my license for a little while. And I'm like, I'm not even going to deal with it, because, I'm like, my uncle, he drives for Jake Hunt, he's had problems getting across, so I'm like, I'm not even fucking with it. Yeah, that's a smart decision. Yeah, show sure enough, you guys did not make it. I had some good times, dude. I remember when me and who was it? Me, Potter, I think Wacker, like a bunch of us, dude. In like 2005, went to Bangkok, and yeah. when that uh, uh, what's that movie that came out? That animated movie where they have a song made. And it's just like America, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Team America. Yeah. We went during that, and we were, like, singing that all through the airport because we are so ready to leave and this and that. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Dude, that was a while ago then. Yeah. It was It was a cool experience, man. Like, we ran all over Bangkok. Jesse uh, Olsen was with us. Yeah, we had a good crew. Yeah. <clears throat> it was a good times, man. It was fun. I got, I got stuck at the Canadian border for six hours because I had, um... T-shirts in my truck, and they kept yeah, what? T-shirts. They're like, you're yeah, like, oh, they thought because you, you're selling them, you wear T-shirts in my life? Yeah, exactly. They're like, you have, you're gonna yeah. sell these T-shirts, and I'm like, you know, I don't know what happened. Eventually, they started counting them, and or they made me count them, and I was like 50, 60. So then, um. They kept me in there for a couple more hours, and then they're like, go count them again. So I went out and counted them, and then I was just like, I was guessing. So then I'm like, 50, you know, because they're like, this is serious business. And I'm like, what are you, what are you guys so mad about fucking these t-shirts for? So they're like, I said 50. So then they go back down and count, and they go, you should have stayed with your original count. It was 60. You're trying to lie to us, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just laughing at them. And they're like, you're going to get a black mark on your record. And I'm laughing at them more. And they're like, this is serious. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, fuck off. So then they finally, uh, it was for Feld. So Feld had to pay the taxes on all the shirts. And then uh, <laughs> they let us in, though. But um, the next time I went up, we got stopped again. And Gary Robertson got turned away at the border because he had a DUI and a reckless driving, like, friggin' forever ago. He he had like a DUI when he was 18 and reckless driving when he was 21. He was probably 32 <laughs> at the time. This is no lie. He's probably 32. You know, like, you can't get in here. What's their They're deal? probably like, people don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> See, they, almost, they just tried to shut you down. Yeah. But it's it didn't... My computer. They just, it didn't work though because it was Canadian government and they're like nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. They got a weak ass NSA. Yeah, Google was like, fuck off Canada, you're not gonna shut us down right now. We're keeping this on. That's the ongoing joke, Derek, is that when we get political and stuff our podcast gets shut down. <laughs> we got three people watching it. <laughs> All three of these Man. people are getting the inside info. Well, three immediately. Randy. Uh oh. Uh oh, what happened? Like, well, we're going to talk politics. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so political. Randy's like. Yeah, Randy, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that neighbor bitch is in the yard again. Let me out, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go shit in her yard. <laughs> No, he's, deal. no, he wants to go sniff her butt. Dude, every chick that comes over, like humans, 
Randy goes straight up in the crotch, blasts them to where they like jump a little. <laughs> Do you get blamed for it? <laughs> no, but he goes back to front every time. He doesn't fuck around. <laughs> Do you ask him later? Watch, here he comes. Watch, see if he does it. No time for small talk. Randy does it. Do you ever ask him? Or are you like, hey, Watch. Randy, how was that one? <laughs> Let's see if Randy was going to goose you. Who was That's that? My, Your sister? Uh, camera holder. Yeah. Yeah, you just flex on him. Not anymore. Damn. Look, you hyped Randy up and they let me down. Yeah. He went? So he hyped up Randy and then he went and let me down. He did it out there, she said. <laughs> all, all Randy did for people listening was run inside with him. <laughs> Randy's a bitch. And Randy's that dog, by the way. He's not a human, if you're listening. If you're just on <laughs> audio. Not like this shitty, like, mongoloid brother I have. <laughs> Rookie Rude? <laughs> uh, he had a really kind heart though <laughs> Who, what kind of beer you got bro whatever's left over in the fridge Ooh. but it's light what were you drinking before one, that it was all these beers this is pretty good all these makes a knockoff of pretty much any kind of popular beer I won't oh, support him. Good. Are you going to get whiskey? Are you going to get whiskey? I'm show you. you. Gotta sneak it. Show me what you got. That's all I got. Oh, uh, a little bit of Crown oh, Royal. God. Dude, I found. I was going through my dad's stuff. I found. I think it's a half gallon of Crown, still sealed from 1972. Nice. Damn. It's right here. You see it? Wow. That's pretty Sweet. cool. Yeah, 1971. You see the date? No, all we can see is your hand. And now you're Harley Davidson. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just going to say, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Same time. I see it. Good. You ever going to drink that? Nope. Say? Hey, I got, got a small one there in the kitchen. This <laughs> one here. What? Okay. I've got um a it's not that old, but uh Jack Daniels started making uh like moonshine type of you know, liquor, just clear. And we went to yeah. the uh, Jack Daniels distillery and I bought one of the bottles out of the first batch of that. So I got that shit un, you know, opened over on the, on the shelf. Did you try any while you were there, though? Did I try any? Yeah. I don't think so. I figured I would just buy one somewhere else. Figure it out later. And actually, I bought that when I went to get Stella because I got her right by uh, that place from a breeder in Tennessee. So, uh, that day we went up there early and went to the Jack Daniels distillery. So I bought, um, a regular body bottle of Jack Daniels and, uh, that bottle of the Jack Daniels moonshine or whatever it's called. Actually, now that I think about it, that bottle of whiskey I have is five years old. That's how much tequila I've been drinking. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. First time I ever had moonshine was whenever... Me and Sean Connors were at Durham Town, and I <laughs> hurt my back super bad, and they wouldn't give me anything but Motrin. And I was—I mean, I couldn't walk, dude. I was laying on the ground, and I had to have Sean take my boots off for me because I pinched some type of nerve in my back. Like I was messed up, and he's like, "Here, take a couple swigs off this." And he like opened up this mason jar that had clear liquid in it, <laughs> and it was super strong smelling. Sure enough, I took two swigs of it, like pretty good sized ones, and it 
tasted kind of good. And then a little bit later, dude, I was walking around like I was just fine. You're like, you can drink, if you have real moonshine, you take a sip and like 45 seconds later, you were like, I am drunker <laughs> than I just was prior to that sip. Yeah. <clears throat> I went out one night, I had uh, like three glasses of <clears throat> whatever, tequila, which is kind of normal. And I got home and I took one sip of moonshine and like 10 minutes later, I'm like spinning. So, like, oh, fuck. It's rough. Pass on moonshine. You ever seen the fake moonshine they have in the store? Like, yeah. Like, that's not like real moonshine. Yeah. I mean, you can still get in a fist fight if it's really good, but not the same. Not as quickly. It's not moonshine. <laughs> Unless there's a threat of going blind and getting arrested, it's not moonshine. I got some real moonshine. Do you? I do. Do you want me to e ship yeah, it to it. you? Okay. E show us. E show me. Derek, you know Clint's doing comedy now. Stand up comedy? Yeah. <laughs> huh? I didn't know that. Unless they got a unless they got a chair, then I'll do sit down comedy. <laughs> oh uh, who made it blue? It's uh blueberry. And actually it was undrinkable for the first like five years. Cause it was just so wicked. So strong. gnarly, yeah. You could have ran a, You could have used it to start your truck, though. For sure, yeah, I, I could have. Same looking thing in my refrigerator, but it's cherry. <laughs> you drinking it? <laughs> <laughs> I just took a. I just took a sniff of it. Gave me the That's chills. Yeah, you better get to work on that. Yeah, Clint's been working on his. This is only ten year old bottle of fuck. <laughs> no, it's at least like five or six. Uh, seven. Here, here's here's some Jeffrey Scott <clears throat> moonshine. <clears throat> See that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I don't think I need a sip of that. Did you see Jeffrey Scott on the podcast or pictures of it? Uh uh. Oh my gosh, dude! He ate hairspray. You know who he is? No. Oh, you gotta, you gotta get back on social media just for that. <laughs> I will. He's always doing weird, like he's got these weird flip ramps and stuff that he just crashes into mattresses on. But he ate hairspray, WD-40, Ugh. and yeah, and air filter oil. <laughs> He actually sprayed air filter oil and WD-40 on his tongue at the same time. <laughs> and then he ate chalk. He doesn't actually oh. swallow it. He just gets it in his mouth. But Yeah, that's fucking... It's got to ruin your I night. think you need to elaborate for our audience so the kids aren't fucking actually ingesting it. Yeah, because those little bastards eat Tide Pods all day. He ate one. one. Well, he chewed one up, yeah. Yeah, well, he... Yeah, it's better to say eight. It sounds more dramatic. It does. Fake news. He didn't eat it. He Lia just spit on it for a minute. Yeah, fake news. He, I don't want that liability. Just, but, and he wasn't drinking either. He just was like, no, I don't drink. He's like, but I got hairspray and chain lube. Yeah, so every time <laughs> we would take shot, he goes, is it shot time? And then he'd start spraying his mouth with, like, contact cleaner or something. Oh, man. And his girlfriend kept calling. He's like, she probably thinks I'm like doing something stupid, like eating stuff I shouldn't supposed to. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Oh, so your girlfriend knows you? Oh, I got you. <laughs> She's looking up for your general well-being. <laughs> Makes sense. That's what girlfriends do, right? Not wives, they just go in the house and ignore you. Yeah. They're like, well, if you don't, don't, don't eat that. If yeah. you do, 
Don't throw up on the carpet. <laughs> well, no, they're like, we have this insurance policy now, so I guess if he eats this Tide Pod, worst case scenario, I get two hundred grand. No, I can't get, I can't get that stuff. What, I life insurance? Now that I don't do dirt bikes anymore. You don't tell them that. You just tell them you're self-employed. I know, but they'll just look at the internet and be like, nah. Every health uh, insurance, you know, company was always like, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm self-employed. Yeah, but ever since I hit my head, it shows up on my, my, uh, you know, my permanent record, I guess. You know that, listen, rule number one is, I mean, and maybe you hit your head hard enough or you couldn't, but rule number one is you get out of your gear if you can. I know. Here's the deal. Rule I number two up. is you um, fall off a lot of ladders. If in my bicycle. medical, in my, in, in my medical I record. Out of a coma after 10, after what, a day or something? And then I woke up and I, I had a breathing tube in and I'm like, I'm like trying to tell my dad, hey, if they ask, I got hurt playing soccer or something because I was so fucked up on the, the stuff they put you on. And he's like, no, nah, dude, they, they know what happened. Like, because I just, I thought, it, I asked what time it was. They said 10. It was 10 the next night. I thought it was 10 that night because I'm like, oh, good. The show probably got over like an hour ago. Yeah, that's what I thought. And that was not my deal. I can't, I probably get life insurance now. That's what I thought the time that you were with me and I got hurt and I lost yeah. the day. I was like you tried to say I was like yeah I was like I think I lost like three or four hours like I don't remember and so he was like why and I said well because I don't remember like I know I did the show but I don't remember anything until right before I went in for surgery on my leg and they go well Surgery was uh, 4 o'clock the next day. And I crashed at like 4 o'clock. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, it was like, dude, we had it all wrapped up. Clint just had to flip. I turn around, I look, he's... I don't know what he's doing. He's Spider-Man through the air. And I remember, I watched that wreck a few times. And I was oh, like, God. That sucked. I was like, it made my eyes rain. <laughs> I think the fucking bike like cut out on me. Don't you, don't you like not remember what happened shortly before that too, or like, or do you remember starting that show? Nick, I remember being at that building, and that's about the extent of it. <laughs> I remember that party. I remember partying in the... Um, we drank the tequila with the hot sauce in it? Yeah, we drank all that. Yeah. I, I remember that. Uh, and then... I remember packing my stuff up that day. Uh, <clears throat> like, after the show, I'm going to go home. And then I woke up in the hospital the following day. It's literally the amount of, rec of like... Recall I have of that event. That's I don't know, being out in Fresno, it was similar to that. Like, <laughs> I just remember getting there, and I remember starting my bike, and the next thing I know, I'm in a shitty county hospital, leaned up against the wall on a one of those beds, and a naked Indian in front of me, bleeding everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, me. I just happened to come too when he's running around and it's bleeding. He's like, hey man, you think you're talking? I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing here, man. <laughs> Are you sure? Did anybody verify this story or did you just. <laughs> I, I promise on my kids that's what happened. Because my buddy Mike flew there with me and he didn't come to practice and I came up short on this piece of shit mobile lander and it broke and pitched me out sideways on concrete and then split into the wall and knocked me out. I just remember they told me I had a broken leg but I blew my knee out and I had to fly home to find out that I ripped all the cartilage and ACL out of my knee and it was lodged in my joint that's why I couldn't bend it. <clears throat> but, I mean it would have been better to break my leg than get what I got. But 
anyways, that's what happened, and it sucked. And you it don't remember it. anything. I say it's better to fucking break stuff than to tear ligaments and yeah. whatever that stuff is. Yeah, I had knee surgery, and they had to take all my meniscus out, and like it just got a little bit stitched on the edges, and took a patella graft off my knee to make an ACL, and it, yeah. <clears throat> got a robot leg. And that was two months after I started riding from whenever I blew my shoulder apart and was off the bike for six months. So then I rode for two months and then blew my knee out and was out four and a half months again. Was that right when you started freestyle? <clears throat> no, that was in 05. I blew my shoulder out when I tried to do my first flip to dirt. Got nervous, pulled late, landed on my face, and blew my shoulder apart. So I've been riding freestyle what, three years? That's still kind of early. Like, that's, like, one to probably three, four years, I feel like, is when everybody goes through a period of time where you are hurt, like, like you come back and then just get hurt right again. And I think that, like, tests people of how far they really want to, you know, how far do you want to go, how much do you want to push it. Yeah, I kind of believe that because I broke my leg real bad. I had a rod and screws put in it in 01. Then 02, I compound fractured my right arm. Then in 03, I broke my wrist. 04, I broke my other wrist. Then in 05 is when I destroyed my shoulder. And then my knee. And then I went a few years with just minor injuries. See, see, you had much longer than a two-year window there. You had like a five-year window. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I always got hurt and then had like two to three years and then got hurt again. No, I went through a spurt. And then from 06 to 09, I was doing good. And then I broke my wrist. And then after 2009, I had some pretty bad wrecks that I don't know how I walked away from, but... Didn't get hurt anymore. That's good. I usually, I told, tell people like, I think that I basically got to a point where I ride way above what my talent is supposed to dictate, you know, just cause of experience. So I'm good until I'm not. Once I get in trouble, it's just, I'm gonna fucking just <laughs> land on my face from like 40 feet. I don't just, like, slide out, out anymore. Yeah. I don't just slide out. I, like, end up getting caught and then just cartwheeling down something. No so, damage. hopefully, Roxon is just in his little two-year period of injuries, and he's going to bounce back. Hopefully. Well, I mean, this will be two years, right? He spent one year <laughs> and now. Yeah, and in, in graphic, I mean, I guess because he's posting pictures of it, but they all look. I mean, both wrists look pretty nasty. Dude, yeah, his hand looks a lot worse than what I thought it was just by him saying he broke a bone in his hand. Like, a bone, yeah. It blew it. Apart. Do you see this, the slow motion of his arm? Moto Pips posted it of his arm going, I didn't realize how much it went in. Underneath, yeah, like to almost to the elbow. Yeah. Oh. And he Dude, just yanked it out. Rock side, it would have cut his fingers off. So lucky. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna find video of it. I want to see this again. I don't want to fucking see it. See it. He, he, tag up? he tagged me in something, and I was like, I'm not even gonna watch that because I seen just somebody sitting next to Cooper's web and a or Cooper's web. Cooper, <laughs> <laughs> Cooper Webb's bike, and I'm like, I already know what like it is. Charlotte's web, but just Cooper. I. Fucking Cooper's Web, that's, that's that deal with trying to get CBD oils, right? <laughs> Dude, he would have been clean plant? if it hit that rut. What? Yeah. Oh, Clint, can you see what I put yeah, up? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, look it, look it, look it. I'm pretty sure I'm not oh! going to watch it. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> mostly what I saw was his helmet got yanked by that tire. I didn't realize this. Oh, gosh. Look at his whole jer he ripped his whole jersey off. Yeah, it was horrible. Can you see that, Derek? Yeah, I watched it a couple of times when it happened. 
If you're listening, we're watching Roxton get his hand sucked in the well, Yeah, right now Roxton just let go of his motorcycle <laughs> and puts his oh. hand uh, inside of Cooper Webb's swing arm up to, the, up to nearly that. up to nearly the elbow. Dude, that tire's still spinning and he just yanked it out anyways. Well, here was the thing, you know, I was like, even if, say, he only broke a bone in his hand, you know from the way that thing got bent back and all that shit that there was damage in there, you know? Like, just like you said, yeah. Derek, yeah, he, he broke, which they said one bone in the hand, but then they said all of the metacarpals or whatever. Yeah, they're one, picking pieces out. Yeah, that's right. And then, two, think about all those ligaments and shit and all that stuff getting messed up. All right, get rid of it, Nick. I'm tired of watching. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming, honey. <laughs> I don't need to watch his hand get sucked in the back wheel anymore. Jesus. All right, I'll find his other crash. Let's watch that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, what, the one where he went dude? face first into the Looking thing? out on the sidelines. Yeah, yeah. Rookie mistake. Listen, concrete, yeah, concrete sucks. Especially when you got dirt broken off of the track, just as powder down there. Yeah, dusting. Is this a video or is Moto Pimps punking me on this? Here we go. He's like, "Look, I'm out of here." <laughs> and then Wait till they show the other view, dude. He hits his face on that pile of dirt. So this guy goes off the track. He gets onto the pavement and onto the concrete. And just oh. comes in wide open, touched his front <laughs> brake, just touched his front brake. And next thing you know, he was face first on the fucking concrete. Wow. That was violent. Here we go. Barsha. Since Clint wants to see all the wrecks today. Yeah, let's watch everybody fucking yeah, get hurt. It was hard to tell from the video and then uh, the arm wrapped up. Could have been way worse. Yeah, for sure. But it still sucks because, like, like, you think he, he could have cleared that triple? Nah. Oh, no, he could have. You think? <laughs> yeah. Wait, watch it again because he's like right in the face of it. Dude, but other guys were jumping out there on purpose. He probably. Yeah, but ate... I think that's different. Oh. oh. I don't know. He was pretty low. That sucks. I mean, maybe if he had just pulled back. I mean, what did he do? He cased into that one before it, huh? He was messed up, like, at the beginning of that rhythm section. It was a step on, I think. And he... he looks like he cases the one before it and then bounces off it into the face of the triple. He missed the yeah. step on or something before that, even. <clears throat> that sucks. Because that was... Let me find what points are in here. Go to that one that says idle hands. <laughs> I told um, I told Mark that he needs to see where the guy's hugging that girl. Yeah. That needs to be Cooper Webb and his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like that movie. You would. <laughs> you probably love... Seth, whatever his name is back there, Seth Green or something. Doctor Evil's son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. His name is on Rat Race. <laughs> <laughs> he has been in a bunch of shit. Plus, he's the one of the makers of Robot Chicken. So, yeah. Enough said. Enough said. The Robot Chicken is the shit. I'm trying to find more at <clears throat> points right now. Find me the points, young Nick. What did I just say? Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Who they is. Pronto. Because, uh... Underlay, underlay. Underlay, underlay. That's what I'm teaching the kids. Teaching the Mexican. Because Barsha was at second points last week. Now he's sixth. Yeah, but he's going to miss at least a couple rounds. Yeah. He went from second to sixth in one week. Well, he didn't finish, right? So zero points. Damn. Look at Musquin slowly moving his way up. 
Oh, hold on. Let me let me uh, enlarge the. When you got there, where where is he? Last one. Four. Uh, but he's. Four. But he's one twenty. Let's say just for simplicity of math here, and uh, Anderson is one sixty, so he's forty one points ahead of him. Yeah, I mean, only thing that's going to change this is Anderson crashing out. Which yeah. I hope doesn't happen. Who's in second right now? Sealy? With 124. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a pretty even battle for second. Dude. Sealy, Baggett, Muskin. Yeah. Even Pike's in there. Yeah, I agree with that. That would make you good. Because look at even Barca's Brayton. out. Roxon's out. Well, think about uh, I don't Brayton like has been laying down good lap times and qualifying and shit like that, and then and good heat races, but not really done super well in the in the in the mains. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What about? Uh, oh, I'm thinking of Pike. Tomac, ninety points, tenth place. Damn. He'll work his way up, I think. With to what fifth? <laughs> well, if he wins a couple more, he'll he'll make some some progress. Derek's a gear. He wins and all the guys in front of him don't finish. Well, I think I he'll catch up to. I don't know if he'll catch up to Muskin, but he'll catch up to Baggett probably. Because I think Muskin's gonna work his way up. Um, I just posted these. Uh, maybe I should just pull it up on there. The Nike boots, Derek. What do you think of them? Are uh, they back? You want some? I want some. I don't think Derek would ever wear those. I'm gonna wear them to work. <laughs> would you wear? Would you not wear Nike motocross boots? I mean, if somebody gave them to me, I'm not going to buy them. Told you. Ray Bennett said he would pay top dollars for these. No, I'll just keep my Alpine Stars that I, I've had since I don't know how many years. I still got thumb in boxes. What about these, these bad boys? The Nikes look cool, but they do kind of look like you could tell they're a one off or there it wasn't like a lot made. Like on the bottom. <laughs> the Scott boots? Yeah, the old plastic Scott boots. Didn't they try uh, to make some happened. a couple of years ago? Moto Pip says they're actually rubber, not not plastic. Which ones? My dad had the Scott boots. Somewhere. You got some of these somewhere? Yeah. What size are they? No, I don't have them here. Like, I remember looking through my dad's stuff when I was a kid, and he had those in the high point boots. These are way Shit. cooler. Dude, I need to try to find them. Yeah, you do. Sure. Gotta get on that. What size foot was your dad? Uh, 10, I think. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Dude, you make a video wearing Scott boots. <laughs> That'll go, go nuts. Didn't they make some again like a couple of years ago? Five years ago? I think so. <clears throat> what the well, hell? They make happened? gear, right? Yeah. Google it. We're out of this. Google it. Did you guys know that Scott made goggles? No. <laughs> With one T or two T's? Two T's, dude. No joke. They even sell tear off for them. TT. Yeah, here they are. I found them. Man, go. I forgot about these. Is this what the, is this drunken recall memory? Yeah. You see it? Oh, yeah, no, I remember it's those. It's just coming up. See? Yeah, I remember to... the reviews on them. People are like, the toe is super thick. You can't feel shit. I forgot about those. They don't look as cool yeah. as the old ones. What? These, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think the old ones look way cooler. Hell yeah, they look like 
They, they look more comfortable. Like, you get your foot under the shifter with the old ones. <clears throat> look at that guy. He's bumping right into the shifter right there, and his foot's on a total angle. You don't know. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm wrong. Look at that. Look at the, the contact. Yeah. Perfect. Match. It's perfect. Well, You're wrong, Derek. They got a five-star review from two people. <laughs> says, it, says it right here. Those people have never ridden before, then. <laughs> they got recluse clutches. Man, I forgot about these. Weird. Right here? Yeah. Uh, Chaparral or Chaparral. So it's fucking. They're still for sale? Yeah, let's see. They're trying to dump off the last couple pairs. 2007 model, it says. They got size 10s. They have them? How oh, much are they? Asking. Oh, yeah, are they discounted, heavily discounted? It doesn't say you can get them. I think they just never took the page down or something. A uh, good blend of stability and flexibility, says John Smith. That seems for that seems legit. John Smith's full of shit. <laughs> John Smith's a fake ass name. <laughs> oh shit! John Man, I forgot all about this weird ass gold boot. Yeah, what they what they made it for one year and then that was it. Who was wearing them? Wasn't somebody wearing them? Yeah, John fucking what's his name? John Smith? <laughs> John Smith was swearing. I couldn't even get paranoid to give out his real name online. Yeah. Let's see. What are them weird... Hey, who brought that up? Is that you, Clint? Yes. Who hey, at the Arlington and Supercross, we were walking around in the pits, and this girl had like a little short jean skirt on with the old school high point boots and a fox jersey tied up. Were you into it? No, I was just telling my girlfriend. I was like, "See, that's what we call prohos and ramp tramps. That's what we like." <laughs> Jumper humpers. Prohos, ramp tramp, or jumper humpers. Which one do you like best? Jumper humpers. <laughs> He's like, "Why do they do that?" And I was like, "Cause they have no self esteem and they think their bikes are cool." <laughs> Because they're trying to blow Weston Pike. <laughs> Jumper Humper. I haven't heard of that one. I learned that from Kenny Yoho. You know. I heard another one. It's Pit Clip. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you race, you got track snacks. <laughs> Are these like real or are we just in a brainstorm session now? No, it's not uh, this girl that I know is called on that because she uh, used to be married to a racer. So she knew about track snacks? Did they ch did they share track snacks? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good move blaming it on a chick. But like, I didn't say that. A girl said that. Uh, oh, if I said it, I'd own it, but I didn't make it. <laughs> Getting sleepy, Derek. Yeah, it's my bedtime. <clears throat> Nine thirty. Nine forty. I'm living. I'm living crazy. I'm staying up ten minutes later. Nine forty. We're in a. We're both in flyover states, Clint. It's not easy staying up super late. Listen. What's up? Where you guys are? You know where I'm at. It I'm in the same Illinois. as you. Clint makes fun of me because I'm in a fly. I'm in the Midwest. I'm in a flyover state still. So. I'm in uh, I'm in the future, right now. Are you still in Atlanta? No, I'm in New Jersey. Uh, he's uh, in idiocracy. That's the future. That's that's where he's at. Yeah. That's no shit. Every time I watch that movie, I'm just like, God, it's our future. It's here. <laughs> it's already here, man. Pretty much. <clears throat> Do you see those commercials where it's like you can video chat a doctor if you want to talk to him? <laughs> it's like you know, and I, every time I see that, I just think of the guy in Idiocracy with the three probes. Yeah. 
Or like put that in your butt, that in your ear. <laughs> We're like a year or two away from that. Yeah, pretty much. Electrolytes are what plants crave. What, like water from the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> you like sex? I like sex. <laughs> you, like, you like sex and money? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, for a latte right now. <laughs> yeah. Go do your taxes with a full release. My favorite part of that movie, like one of my favorite parts, is whenever his car gets shut down when they're running from the cops, and then the cops start shooting it and blowing up, and Dax runs back, and he's just like looking at it. And then Owen or uh, Luke Wilson's like, "Come on, man, let's go." And he's and they blow his car up, and he's like, "That's your car, hell yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is a good movie. I bought that movie because it was like a four ninety nine buy on Google Play. I'm like, I'm getting it. Yeah, dude, I bought it on DVD, but it's so scratched up, I can't watch it. <laughs> on uh, iTunes, so I bought it on that. <laughs> you overwatched Idiocracy. Pretty much. Driving everywhere, man. Like, I watched so many movies. I started looking at it like, I'm about three movies away from you. <laughs> dude, it's even so much different now than five years ago. Can you imagine traveling with the amount of, like, uh, I guess maybe because I have T-Mobile, the amount of service I would have and, like, just stuff on the Internet to do while you were traveling in the past yeah. five years has gotten a million times better. Well, think about when yeah. we started. We had to use maps. Yeah. And ask people where the hot bar was in town. Yeah. We're like, yo, where does everybody go out around here? Which I still feel like is sometimes better because, you know, they're like, Thursday, you go here, Friday, you go here, Saturday, you go here. Yeah. Yeah, but Google can tell me that. It'll tell me the hot times. That's true, too. Then you don't have to talk to humans. We can, just go, we can all go to the bar and e-drink, but not make eye contact. Could I go to the bar and order by texting? So I don't even have to speak <laughs> with anyone? <laughs> just Pretty text. soon put on virtual reality goggles of being in that bar and then we can stay home. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We'll be able to really eat drink. We'll all be at the same bar together, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Different states. We'll be drinking Diet Cokes and saying he's drinking beers, lying to us. Lying to us. He was like, <laughs> he'll have his uh, computer nerd buddy put fucking beer labels on his. <laughs> on his lemonade. <laughs> you talking about shipment? I stayed at Nick's house and it was like midday and I had to carry him out of the neighborhood bar. <laughs> 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 it was like 2 30 in the afternoon. Nick's sitting there shooting the shit with like three people. We're in there forever. And he's shit faced. I was. Totally able to walk out of that bar. You were just getting stubborn, like, I want to go home and watch Desperate Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> it was The Bachelor, man. Get it right. The Bachelor. Ugh, that's painful. <laughs> Nick's like, I just need three more shots. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Then you can actually carry me. Oh, fuck. House and saw his like badass CR five hundred that he has sitting in there. He sold that. I know. I wanted to buy it. But I Who? Money. Four burger had a CR five hundred. What are you? Nice he too. Bitching. He's got the replica of McGrath gear from like ninety six, ninety seven. <clears throat> it's got all that stuff, dude. Why'd he get rid of that 500? Because he's got tons of bikes and 
stuff all over the place. He's always looking to sell something. Man, it was only fifteen hundred bucks, dude. It was. I rode it one time with flip flops <laughs> up his long ass alley. It was that was that thing was wild, dude. I know you I didn't start it with flip flops. I did too. Start it with flip flops. Bullshit. That was the whole bet. And it had a flat tire. I was ripping on that thing. I did. You guys don't deserve a 500. Clearly, I do, because right. I started it. You know how much that takes? That just the science of that whole situation. What, like 10 beers? <laughs> no, Nick's body weight pushing a Kickstarter on a 500 yeah. down fast enough for it to fucking turn over and fire. <laughs> it's a Honda. It's crisp. He gave it the Harley yeah. kick. He had his other leg over on the same oh side of the bike. God, dude, if I would have missed... Just stood on top of the kicker and then swung his leg down. <laughs> I think somebody was holding the bike up. <laughs> I'll give him that. Well, yeah. shit. <clears throat> you gonna go sleep so you can fucking fix gutters tomorrow? Or roofs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want to talk about fixing roofs? Because that's what Nick no. does. Tomorrow. Nick can come down and just like inspect roofs for you. He goes to places and he inspects them and then he goes, this thing is shot. You need a new roof. Here, call yep. Sharper Homes. Yeah, buy me a beer. We'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a beer and you'll dump it out. Not buy you a beer. Yeah. He'll buy you a um, vodka uh, cranberry. No. <laughs> I don't think he'll drink that either. Drink I think the only thing I ever drank with Cook was like Jaeger bombs. Is that right, Cook? Did he he locked up on us, huh? Yeah. Because even then he's like, I don't drink. We he's like, I'll do a Jaeger bomb, though. We didn't even get political. They shut us down. You think he's just fucking with us, like just sitting there real still? It's like. I don't know, I'm waiting for it to switch. He's got a smug look on his face. He does. That was cool. I haven't talked to Cook in a while. Yeah, me neither. Literally, since we had our debacle earlier, so any, anybody that's watching, I guess now, or has listened this long, I was supposed to have Street Bike Tommy on. I talked to him last week, um, and he had some like barbecue thing last week. That's why we didn't do it then. So he's like, next week for sure. Well, now, if anybody has him on Instagram, he has been driving Subaru rally cars all day. So, uh, yeah, that's how that went. Bail's on us, man. Bail. He's hanging out with Larry the Enticer, so he's tough nuts. That's right. Fuck hey, does he, so does he own a barbecue place or what? He's starting his own barbecue thing. I think he's got, like, a trailer. He's going to do, uh... I don't know. We'll have to see if he comes on or when he comes on. I don't yeah, have the answers for you, Nick. That's how we cooked, though. That was fun. Yep. Good times, good times. Good times. All right. All right, everybody. Go buy the trigger from Stripper Industries. I think neighbor upstairs is mad. Your face cut out. Mine did? Yeah. To I'm gonna get some two wheels of freedom stickers made. I got some. And I should have some right there. I'll send you some two wheels and some uh, emoticon stickers. Cool. I'll take them. All right. Anybody listen to the podcast this late? If you want some uh, stickers, send me your uh, address and I'll mail them out. If you listen this long, you deserve them. <laughs> it's a secret prize pack. That's right. And then all you got to do is take pictures of them, post them, and tag us in them. 
saying I made it to the, I found the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. All you got to do is cover your girlfriend's <laughs> nipples with them and take a picture for <laughs> us. Send it to us. Sure. All right. We'll be waiting for your um, addresses so you can send us nipple sticker pictures. Right? I think, yeah. All right. Sounds good. No dick pics with the fucking stickers. Yeah. Don't do it. Unless your we'll entire we'll dick is, is covered by a sticker. <laughs> we'll post it. All right. All right. Yep. Signing off, everybody. Go watch the race, Clint. Yeah, I need to. I'm not doing it right now. I'm about to fall asleep. Everybody, see you next week. If you got anybody that you think you'd want to see on here or anything like that, message us on uh, Instagram or Facebook. And uh, somebody will get back to you eventually. <laughs>